Students, this is very, very important sum from the examination point of view. Listen carefully. If tan theta is equal to m tan alpha and sin theta is equal to m sin alpha, then prove that cos square theta is equal to m square minus 1 by n square minus 1. n is not equal to plus or minus 1 because if you replace plus or minus 1, this 1 square minus 1 becomes 0. So, something by 0 infinity. So, except for those values of n, this is satisfied. Okay. Now, listen students. First, from this condition, you take tan alpha. Tan theta is equal to n tan alpha. What is tan alpha? Tan theta divided by n. That is n by tan theta. Similarly, what is uh, from this equation? Sin theta by m is equal to sin alpha. Then what is cosecant alpha? m by sin theta. So, why you are converting like this? Means, there is an identity regarding cosecant alpha and cot alpha. Then your sum becomes very easy. What is that identity? Is cosecant square alpha minus cot square alpha is equal to 1. Trigonometry identity. So, you substitute cosecant alpha as m, m by sin theta. So, m by sin theta the whole square minus this one n square by tan theta the whole square is equal to 1. So, now you square this one it becomes what m square by this is a sin square theta minus n square by this is a tan square theta is equal to 1. Now, this tan square theta I convert by sin square theta by cos square theta. So, m square by sin square theta minus n square by sin square theta by cos square theta is equal to 1. Now, in the next step, this cos square theta will go to the numerator. So, m square by sin square theta minus n square cos square theta by sin square theta is equal to 1. Now, you take LCM here. What is LCM? Sin square theta. Now, it becomes what? m square minus n square cos square theta is equal to 1. Now, you cross multiply m square minus n square cos square theta is equal to sin square theta. So, the next step what we will do? This uh, sin square theta will convert as 1 minus cos square theta. Okay. So, because your answer is cos square theta. So, you have to convert in terms of cos square theta. So, m square minus n square cos square theta is equal to this is sin square theta 1 minus cos square theta. So, next case what we should do? Cos square theta and all one side, another constant and all other side. Students, this one, one you bring this side so that it becomes a negative. Then you bring this one this side so that it becomes positive. So, m square minus 1, m square minus 1 is equal to, I am bringing that one that side. So, that n square cos square theta my plus here already cos square theta is there minus. So, minus cos square theta. So, students listen, this one I am bringing this side, this becomes positive. So, this term is there as it is. So, now m square minus 1 is equal to cos square theta I can take outside as common. So, n square minus 1. So, the next step you will get the answer. You bring this term this side. So, that cos square theta becomes what? m square minus 1 by n square minus 1. So, that is your answer. Students here very simple. Only thing is you have to convert this as from this equation, you have to bring cot alpha. From this equation, you have to bring cosecant alpha. 
then use this trigonometry identity this is a crucial point crucial step you should understand cosecant square alpha minus cot square alpha 1 then you substitute in that you convert everything in sin and cos then it will go the numerator then take the LCM and cross multiply you convert sin square theta as 1 minus cos square theta then you replace like this n square cos square theta minus cos then next step cos square theta you take common then automatically you will get the answer okay 